The ECP granted a two-year period for the implementation of the terms and conditions of the ECP, which the company has met. Kindly note that as per phase one of the signed ECP, Port of Magical has, on July 12, 2022, submitted the detailed design of the peninsula. The company also informed the DOE of the status of the, management, the Manatee Management Plan, the rapid ecological assessment, the dewatering site, soil investigations, and the status was that these documents were being prepared as per conditions of the ECP and would be submitted shortly. On April 11, 2023, the company also submitted to the DOE the management plan for the Antillian manatee, which has been shared with the fisheries department. The company is responsible to implement the plan with the fisheries department and local NGOs. A reclamation work plan, which is being reviewed by the DOE and the mining unit of the Ministry of Natural Resources. Also, they submitted a draft water quality monitoring program, which has been reviewed and feedback provided to the company. Note that no, object, no inspection has been conducted since the signing of the ECP because no substantive physical work has begun on site. And as per phase one, none is absolutely required. A joint inspection with the Belize Port Authority, Mining Unit, Fisheries Department, Forest Department, Coastal Zone Management Authority is scheduled for June 30th. This site inspection will reveal if any non-compliance exists at the project site level, which then will be presented to the company in writing with a reasonable time frame for the issues to be resolved or addressed. So in terms of the compliance status, and based on the above that I have mentioned, it is the opinion of the DOE that Port of Magical is currently in compliance with their ECP